What up, guys? We got a serious issue. That this needs to be dealt with now. So I'm gonna invite some people. What up guys, I really didn't want to have to come on here with some bad news. Okay, you see, I was sitting down doing some training on aggressive inline for a record that I'm going to be setting here within the next few weeks or so once I submit the form. And I seen some people comment on the post that I made earlier about people bitching and complaining. And one of those people just happens to be you, Hunter. Yeah, that's right. I see you, boy. I see you, Hunter. And not you, Hunter. The other one, the one that commented. See, I get what you're saying. That I don't need to listen to people. And I'll admit, you know, you're right about that to a certain extent. But what you fail to realize is what I deal with every day. You see, I'm not like you. I can't just up and walk away from it all whenever the fuck I feel like. I can't do that. It's not that I don't want to, it's that I can't. Because unlike you, I'll go through a lot more than you could ever imagine, boy. You see, unlike you, I was born with one kidney. One and a half functioning lungs. I was born one pound, 12 ounces of was not supposed to weigh. Every fucking day, I face death in the face and say, fuck you. I get judged by fucking record labels every day. I get judged by people around me every day. I get put down. I get bullied. I get tortured every fucking day by people like you. And I've honestly fucking had it with your damn mouth, Hunter. So before you go fucking saying the shit that you said on my post, you need to close your fucking mouth and put yourself in my shoes. And see what it is that I go through every day. Because see, you fail to see what it is that I deal with. Okay? You don't get it. And you know, you are a piece of trash for saying what you said. Yeah, and you're right. I'll admit, I do need to not listen. But point being, you need to shut your fucking mouth when it comes to judging people. Because you don't know me. You don't know what the fuck I've gone through or have been through. You cannot possibly understand the shit that I deal with every fucking day. And I'll talk about that. I deal with half blindness from time to time from eye surgery as a little kid. So I deal with a lot more than you fucking realize, kid. A lot more. So before you go fucking judging, shut your damn mouth and put yourself in their shoes. Put yourself in that person's position and how they fucking feel and what they deal with every day. Take a look at things from their perspective. Before you go running your damn mouth like you did on my post. And you know, I didn't want to do it. But the more I read more of your comments, the more pissed off it made me. To where I couldn't stand it anymore. You don't know what the fuck I go through, Hunter. You really don't get it. Every single day, I go through hell and high water. Every fucking day, I face death. Every fucking day, I stare death in the fucking face and say, today, I am not going to die. I am going to fucking live. 
Okay? I was not supposed to live past birth. But yet, here I am, 27 fucking years later, still standing. You don't know what the fuck I go through every day. You don't know the shit that I deal with. Okay? I deal with a lot more than you realize. And not just, you know, like medical wise either, like medical condition wise. I deal with fucking being judged by record labels. I get torn down, I get destroyed, I get picked on and told that I'd never make it in the music industry because of my looks. Which, is that fair to me? No. But yet, here I stand every fucking day doing covers, having people tell me how good I am, growing my fan base, busting my ass. My point for that post earlier wasn't to piss or offend anybody. It wasn't to piss anybody off or offend anyone. So if I did offend you, I do apologize. Where that stemmed from was this rich kid on YouTube running his fucking mouth like a little bitch complaining how he's struggling when this kid's got fucking money through the roof and this is a kid that I actually know personally who I grew up with as a kid his family was always you know on the high end of things you know they've always had money they've always been really wealthy always been very well off and you know and he does run his own business so how can you be struggling if you're running your own business and you're rich as fuck. Like for you to sit there and bitch and say that you're struggling when you're not struggling. You're a fraud. You're a fake. You're phony. That dude really fucking set me off earlier. Because people like me and my family, we struggle to get by day to day and month to month. Okay, my point with that post was there's people out there like myself who don't have the luxury of having very many fancy things in their life. Okay, the fanciest thing I've probably got right now at this point in time would probably be my Tony Hawk Cup Jam skateboard. That's probably the most expensive thing that I could say that I possibly own right now. Because as you guys know, Tony Hawk did retire from skateboarding some years ago. And the Hawk Jam series just happened to be one of the last lines of skateboards that he made before he retired officially and started producing skateboards on his own and running his business on his own and teaching people to skateboard right after. So you see, before you go judging people, Hunter, take a look at their life. Take a look at what they go through. I don't sit here and judge you on your life. So what gives you the right to say what you said about me? Seriously, man. What gives you that right? Before you go judging, ask me why I posted what I posted. Before you go running your mouth, Take a look at what that person is going through. Because to be honest with you, man, I've gone through a lot more than you could ever fucking understand up there in that fucking head of yours. I've gone through a lot more than you could ever understand. Because let me tell you something, dude. I never had any of my real parents. My biological father went to jail the day that I was born. Okay? And my birth mother couldn't take care of me, so my grandmother, who is now my mom, who raised me, took me in. And my birth mom died on my birthday several, several years ago when I was a kid. I didn't know either of them. And my dad, who is my adopted dad, who you guys know as my dad, who's been in the military most of his life, you know, he was never really around. After he left the military, after he retired, he booked. Didn't want anything to fucking do with us. So my mom raised me my entire life. So before you go judging, take a look at somebody's life. Okay? I've not only gone through that shit. 
I've gone through several relationships that have been abusive, toxic, mentally abusive. I've been cheated on, lied to. I've been used. My best friend stabbed me in the back and took my high school sweetheart, who I've known for many years now, away from me. And the girl I was with, not that long ago, her parents split us up, so now I have no way to get in touch with her anymore. So you see, I deal with a lot more than you realize. And one thing you don't realize, dude, is all that stuff compiled together puts a lot of stress on a person. And yeah, I'll admit, there were times where I thought about ending everything. But you know what? I didn't because I was actually fortunate enough to have the amazing and awesome friends and family that I have help me through all that. Okay? Right? What you don't realize is what I fucking deal with every day. And how that affects me. And you wonder why I sit here and post the things that I post? It's not that I want to. This is my everyday fucking life, Hunter. This is my everyday life and what I fucking deal with. But do I let any of that get to me? No, not always. Sometimes it can't be helped. Sometimes it does get to me. But most of the time, no, I don't let it get to me. I don't bitch about it. I hold it in and I put it out through my music. I release my anger and my issues through my songs, hoping that it can help somebody like you who, not saying that you're dealing with suicide, but I know there are people out there and friends that I have that are very close to me who do deal with that issue. And I make the music that I make to hopefully help them get through those situations. To let them know that they are not alone. To help them to see that ending their life and ending everything is not the answer. You know, I feel really bad for you, dude. I really do, Hunter. I feel really bad for you. Because you can't wrap it around that tiny fucking brain of yours what I go through and just what it is that I deal with. Like, you know, it's sad, dude. It really is. Like, you know, to you, I might just be bitching. But take a look at everybody else here. They know what I go through. They've seen what I've gone through every fucking day of my life. And some of these people that are watching this live stream right now have been not only there for me as a fan of my music and my work, but as a really good friend to me for so many years. And for somebody like you to come along and say the shit that you say, what gives you that right, dude? Seriously, what gives you that fucking right to say that garbage? I would never say that about you at all. Like, if you posted something like what I posted, I would do what I could to help you out. Okay, I would give you a little bit of advice and try to help you out in any way I could. I wouldn't drag you down like you tried to drag me down. And yeah, I'll admit, my mom, Trina Lucy, who's a very good, very dear, good friend of the family, did help. She did stick up for me. And Lucy, if you're watching this, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate what you said. And for everybody that did comment, and is being understanding, I thank every single one of you guys. But as for you, Hunter, you'll never understand. Because you don't know what it's like to be me. You don't know what it is that I suffer from every day. You don't know what it's like to wonder if today's going to be your last day being alive or not. And that can't be helped. That's something that cannot be controlled. Okay? Yeah, I know we all die. I get that. We all gotta die sooner or later. 
But what I face every day is pure death. Every day I wake up, I'm lucky to wake up. I'm lucky to be alive. Every day I stare death in the face and I look at it and I say, fuck you. And I move on with my day. I stare death in the face and say, no, I'm going to make it through today. One way or another, I'm going to live. That is my life every fucking day of the week. From sunup to sundown, that is my life. And trust me, Joey, I do, man. I really do. But this little motherfucker right here doesn't seem to get the hint about what it is that people like me deal with. He doesn't seem to get through that fucking skull of his that there are people out there like me who deal with a lot more than he could ever comprehend. And yeah, I'll admit, some see me as a hero because of what I go through. But honestly, me, I don't see myself as a hero. I really don't. I see myself as another guy trying to help my fellow man to live through another day, to help them survive through whatever issues they're going through. Because I've been through a lot of those issues. I've dealt with, you know, my father, my biological father being in jail. I've dealt with my birth mom being dead. I've dealt with my adopted dad never being around. I've dealt with very toxic relationships. And I deal with death every day. But do I let it get to me? No. I stand up. I say screw you to death. I'm going to make it through the day. And I keep on going. And every day. I do. I will admit. I do thank God every day that I live. I really do. But it's people like you Hunter. That really piss me the fuck off. Because you're so fucking shallow minded. And so closed off. To everything around you. That you can't see what other people like me deal with. And just how hard it can be on us. I'll admit. I'm not the only one out there like that. But I'm the only one that's got the fucking balls enough. To vocalize. And stand up for people like myself. Against assholes like you. You don't know what it's like to be me Hunter. And trust me. Being in my shoes is not what you want. But honestly, I wish just for one second you would put yourself in my shoes and think about what it is that I deal with and what it is that people like me go through every fucking day. Because obviously, you got a lot of fucking learning to do, kid. Compared to me, you're a kid. Okay? And you want to know how you're a kid? You have never once in your whole fucking life stared death in the face and said, no, I am going to live. The day I was born, I was supposed to die. I was not supposed to be here. But by my sheer stubbornness, and with the help of God and the help of my friends and family, I fucking made it. And it's no thanks to people like you. And I'll be honest with you, it's people like you, Hunter, that I can't stand. Because if I had to compare you to anybody, I would compare you to those fucking record labels that try to drag me down. Saying that I'm not good enough. Because of my physical appearance. That's exactly who you act like. Because you think that, oh, you're right, oh, I can do no wrong, and this and that. Well, guess what, dude? Here's a little fucking reality check for your ass. You're not always right. You don't know what I deal with every day. Yes, I'll admit, you know, 
I do have certain members of my family that I am talking to now after many, many years that are, you know, spreading my music around and trying to help me out. And for those of you watching that do know the situation, you guys know who I'm talking about. So for so if that person is watching this, thank you. You're awesome. But you know, you just don't get it, Hunter. I know I'm being repetitive a lot, but you know what? Being repetitive being repetitive is what it's gonna fucking take to get through your thick fucking skull to realize just what it is that I deal with and to stop running your fucking mouth and start putting yourselves in my shoes to see what it is that I face every day, then by fucking God, I'll fucking do it until I'm blue in the goddamn face. I have no problem showing up with a assholes like you, dude. I've done it before and I'll keep on doing it. I have no problem putting a fucking little asshole like you in your goddamn place. Because I have done it before and I have zero issue with doing it again. I put a lot of motherfuckers in their place and I have no problem doing it again. So go ahead and keep on trying me, Hunter. I fucking dare you. Because everybody knows that I'm actually making a name for myself through social media. Which means I have a big enough fan base to call your ass out. I don't want it to come to that. But if you keep doing the shit that you're doing, man, I'm going to have no choice but to do that. I don't want to. I really don't. Because I'm normally not that kind of guy. But if it means protecting myself and those I actually give a shit about, I'll do it. So don't think for a second that I'm just going to lie here and take what you're saying. And I know what some of you guys are thinking. If you guys are new to my live streams, normally I'm not like this. So if you are watching this and you are new to the live streams, I do sincerely apologize. Normally I'm not in a pissed off mood like this, but this motherfucker has got me pissed. And if you are new to the channel and wondering what I'm drinking, it's actually sweet iced tea, homemade. No, it's not beer. I know a lot of people have asked me, is that beer that you're drinking? No, for the final time, this is not beer. This is sweet iced tea. Get it through your fucking head. This is iced tea, not beer. This is not any kind of alcohol. I do not drink, smoke, or do any kind of drugs. Mm. It's good stuff. But now, on to a little bit of a lighter subject. For those of you that don't know, I am going to be applying for a Guinness Book World Record here real soon. I'm actually right now in the process of setting everything up. I just got to come up with a day that will allow me to have plenty of time to train and practice until that day. If you guys are wondering what I'm going for, it is actually for, it was originally going to be for the world sprint record on Need for Speed Underground 2. Because you guys know I'm huge into racing. You know, it's something I've been really good at. Something I've come to be a professional at. I do do professional gaming through the game Real Racing 3. As well as Asphalt 8 Airborne. You know, I have become a professional gamer and racer through those two games. So, shout out to the creators of Real Racing 3 and Asphalt 8 Airborne. Love both of the games. Love the competition. I love the cars and the bikes. Gotta show some love to the bikes. But, I am actually doing a world record for the GameCube game, Aggressive Inline. And what I'm doing the record for is a time run of 1 minute and 58 seconds and my goal for that 1 minute and 58 seconds is to actually get 
7 million plus points and the longest highest grind score possible. I'm going for two world records. The highest score for a minute and 58 seconds and the longest um, freaking what do you call it the, the combo multipliers like what it does it basically multiplies your score like by one two three four five you know you get it right now my highest multiple my highest multiplying score is actually 138 which currently sets me at 7 million plus in points. The day of, like if I can do it, I am going to try to live stream it if I can. Um, I do plan on submitting the application here within the next few days. Um, I've just been really just practicing all day to kind of get myself in that mindset. But I am going to try to set it for a couple weeks. Or maybe a week or a few days. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. But I am going to do it to that point where I can actually, you know, focus and train my ass off like all day, every day. So, you know, there is that. Um, and when, I, when and if I am able to go live with it, I will be tagging everybody that is watching this right now. If you guys want to be tagged in it, I will be posting up a new post about that. And then if you guys would like to see it, let me know. And I will tag you guys in the post myself. That way I know who's going to be watching that day. And then that day I go live, you guys need to be there. I will let you guys know 10 minutes before I go live with that event. And who else commenting? And shout out to everybody that's been watching this, guys. I do apologize about having caught your live or your comments or you guys watching. I do apologize for that. But there is that. Um, as far as music goes, I am doing more covers on Star Maker. Um, as I said, guys, I do not have the luxury of having a computer at this time. So I can't really, you know, record anything like I used to. But hopefully with the friends that I've got that are helping me out and pushing my stuff to radio stations, like one of them is actually out of my birth state and city of Anchorage, Alaska. And the guy actually knows a local DJ up there that's actually connected to my family that I didn't know about. Like he is like he's not part of the family. Like the DJ is not part of my immediate family, but like he knows, you know, different members of my family. But the guy is sending him the stuff on Monday or Tuesday. I don't know when yet. I can't say when because the guy gets the DJ gets back from vacation on Monday or Tuesday. I don't know when. But on one of those two days, my stuff will be sent in. So wish me luck on that, guys. I am hoping for some good results out of that. And if I am able to start making money off of that, then I can get a computer. Like if that guy's willing to pay me and bring me on, I can get a computer and I can start recording like right away that right there is my ultimate goal is to once i get the computer to sit down and start recording more songs because i've honestly got enough songs written out to do at least at least two to three full albums if not more i don't know i lost track a while ago and that's compiling every song that i've written since high school up until now Um, the thing with the poetry, I don't know where that's headed right now at this point. Because nobody's really gotten back to me on that. 
and everything else, so that is kind of a let down a little bit, but. Well, with that being said, guys, for those of you that did support me in the post and the last live stream and this live stream and everything that I've said, I thank you guys for sticking by me and standing up for me like you guys are doing. It actually means a lot, like more than you guys know. And as for you, Hunter, not you, not you, Hunter Peck, the other Hunter. So, Hunter Peck, I do apologize, buddy, if you thought this was aimed at you. It's not, it's actually aimed at the other Hunter. If you go back onto my post, you'll see the other one that I'm talking about. Like, it's kind of hard to miss. It's like right there. Like, you, you'll see him. But, not aimed at you, Hunter Peck, but the other Hunter. Um, you know, man, I hope that this live stream did teach you a lesson and showed you that you do need to show more compassion and that you do need to be more understanding and that once in a while, put yourself in that person's shoes and try to understand what they're going through and try to be there for them instead of doing like you did. Because like I said, I had a reason to post what I posted. And that reason is I'm getting fucking tired of seeing these rich ass kids on YouTube and on Facebook and all over social media acting like they're fucking struggling and they're bitching about struggling when they have no reason to bitch about struggling because they're not struggling. You want somebody that struggles, look at myself and the others that are here in the comments watching this. So, you know, you need to think about that, dude. So, before you go and open in your damn mouth, you know, think about what I said. Because, you know, the more you keep running your damn mouth, the more you're going to keep on coming on here and shutting it up. You can ask anybody here. I don't take shit from anybody, and I'm sure as hell not about to start now with your ass. And I do apologize if I'm being heavy-handed towards you, Hunter. But, like I said, you have to realize what it is that I deal with every day. Instead of being so closed and narrow-minded... Try opening yourself up and thinking about what it is that I said and try to understand from my perspective and what I deal with every day. Try to put yourself in my position and how I feel and what I go through. And no, I'm not throwing a pity party. I don't do that shit. But when it comes to the people like that who act like they're struggling but really they're not or... People pretending to be something that they're not. That shit pisses me off. That don't fly with me. Like that just. That to me just shows me that you're a fake. And I don't deal with fakes. But with that being said guys. I do love every single one of you. Thank you guys. For those of you that did stick by me. Through this whole thing. Like that does mean a lot to me. And you know. And I hope that you know. In some way that. Me going through what I go. What I'm going through. And my story. Of my actual real life. And what I've gone through. And what I do go through. I do hope that does help a lot of you guys. I hope that you guys can take something from that. And, you know, hopefully use that to not only inspire yourself, but other people around you. I really do hope you guys got something good from this. Um, like I said, I do apologize if it's been a bit of a bitchy last couple, you know, things. I do apologize. But, like I said, on a positive note, I do hope that you guys do take something positive from this. And whatnot. And I hope you, when you guys, you know, 
see this video and you see what I go through, I hope that it does, you know, help you guys in some way and to let you guys know that you are not alone in this. Like, if you're out there and you're like me and you're going through stuff like what I go through, you know, I want you guys to know that you're not alone. You got somebody here like me who actually knows what it's like to be where you're at. Because that's stuff I deal with every day. And for those of you that are considering or contemplating suicide, don't do it. Because trust me, it's not worth it. Because the only thing you're going to end up doing is, you know, you're not going to be able to make any more decisions. That'll literally be, allowed, that'll literally be the last decision you ever make in your whole life. And you got to think, you know, your decision not only affects you, it affects your families, it affects your friends, it affects everyone around you. And it affects people that you might not realize it affects. And I know this is from a long time ago. I know this is from way back in July, but one very good example is Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park, who you guys know was actually one of my, not only one of my biggest, if not the biggest inspiration to me, but one of my personal heroes. Because his music did help me get through bullying in high school. His music did save me from suicide. But in the end, he did suffer from suicide. And he did end his own life. His oldest son, Draven, did confirm that he did end his own life in an interview shortly after his father's death. So if you are going through suicide, you know, and you are thinking about it, reach out to somebody. Like whether it's a friend, family member, whether it's a teacher, I know what you guys are about to say on this, but a police officer, because I do know some very good, kind police officers. You know, you guys can reach out to me. You guys can reach out to anybody on my friends list. Um. If you guys are a part of my fan base and you're dealing with it, reach out to each other, you know, help each other out, you know, reach out to others within the fan base, and, you know, and just don't do it, like, ending your life isn't worth it, because there is so much for you to live for, you don't even realize it. So if you are thinking about suicide, you know, put down that rope. Put down that knife, that gun, whatever it is that you're thinking about ending your life with. Put that shit down and walk away from the suicide. Because you're stronger than that. You don't deserve that. You really don't. You deserve better. And I want you guys to know that are dealing with suicide, that I am here to help you if you guys ever need it. Because I know what it's like to be on the edge. And I want you guys to know that you have somebody here who truly understands. Who wants to help you. So if you are thinking about suicide, like I said, reach out to somebody. There are suicide prevention hotlines that you can get a hold of that you can reach out to. Um, as a matter of fact, if you go to LincolnPark.com and go to their um, website, they do have a suicide prevention um, set up. Um, there's also another one that I've seen through the TV show Catfish called HalfOfUs.org. You guys can go there. There's many places you guys can go for suicide prevention. But with that being said, guys, I got to hop off here. I got to let this thing charge a little bit. And like I said, for all of you that have supported me through this whole thing, I want to say thank you to every single one of you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys rock. 
And honestly, I don't know what I would do without you guys who have stood up for me and who have been here for me no matter what. Like, that really does mean a lot. Like, more than you guys know. It really does. I mean, I know I might not show it in the best ways a lot of the times. But, you know, personally, you know, it really does mean a lot to me that you guys stand up for me like you guys do. And especially with people like him, you know. It, it does mean a lot to me. Well, with that being said, guys, I gotta hop off here so I can get this in charge. And I'll see you guys in the next live stream. And hopefully with better news and hopefully in a better mood. Anyways, guys, love y'all and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.